Alright, time for another fantasy foot player review. In this one we have Gelson Martins, who I've just picked up off the market for 550k, and at the time of recording, he's actually extinct on PlayStation, but I don't believe he is on Xbox, so be interesting to see what this guy's price does indeed settle at. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team, the cheapest place to get them is at IG Vault, and there is a link in the description, and if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount off your order. Oh, so let's have a look at this item. Obviously comes with the usual 5 star skills which is great but he also comes with the 3 star weak foot. A weak foot boost on this card, it would have been really, really good in my opinion. Really, really useful. That is definitely going to be a limiting factor on this card. I think we all know that straight away. High, high wear crits on him as well. Couple of traits, but there is some really nice in-game stats, most of which are, of course, in that dribbling department. 99s for agility and balance. Love to see that. His passing, for the most part, is decent um, in regards to crossing and short passing, but obviously that long passing is lacking. Um, shooting looks nice for a winger, especially in the shot power department, and obviously the pace is great. The last thing to discuss is the physicals, which are surprisingly pretty good for a winger. 99 stamina is great, um, the strength of 62 is not brilliant, but it's not terrible, but the aggression of 78 could help him a lot in-game in them duels against defenders. Now, for a chem style, it honestly could depend on how you want to play him, but let's be honest, he doesn't really need a chem style that's going to boost his pace. So straight away, I'm thinking Maxman could be the one, especially if you like, you know, goal scoring wingers. If you want to distribute a bit more with your wide attacker, then there definitely is other options. I think Artist is obviously quite nice because his passing comes up really, really well with that. Maestro also an option. But for me, because I like to score with my wingers, I'm going to go for Maxman. Makes his shooting really good. Brings up his physicals very nicely too, and also gives him a bit of a another boost in at that dribbling department. And that dribbling is pretty much perfect with Maxman too. Okay, nice team, very pacey backline with that future stars Lacroix. Let's see what we can do. Oh, there's a chance we've got numbers. We've brought Gelson Martins into this. What? I tried to do a fake shot there. And apparently the input just did not get accepted. Martins gets in space. That's a really good delivery. Etta sadly not able to convert. Great ball. Good touch from Gelson Martins. Tried to cut inside. Oh, he's done well. Gets the ball across the box. Oh, I shouldn't have shot first time. My bad. I had more time when I thought I had. Etta. Chance. Goal. Good run. Good finish. Needed that. Needed it. Nice. Love that, saw the key for movement and just before the break, we are up. Okay, despite being behind twice at the break, we lead 3-2. Yes, nice defensive work there. Right place, right time for the intercept. Here we go then. Literally on your bike, let's see if we can get Mane at the back post. We can, Mane, oh, off the bar, unlucky. Game is not letting me lock on. And uh, sadly, the shot was very tame in the end. Nice, tight angle, but it does not matter. Swings it into the back of the net. Beautiful strike. And that's four. A chance. As we get Gelson in behind. Goes for the early ball for Ginola. Oh, the chip just sadly closed down too quickly by Neuer. Cruyff. He's whipped it in. Oh, what is his keeper? He went, what is his keeper done? His keeper's just made it easy for Gelson, who was positioned well and was ready to take off the volley anyway. But he just made it a tap in. Now, I've seen goalkeeper errors all year long of them, like, shooting out, so I don't know if that was manual movement or just EA's game. Oh, he is on constant attacking, constant pressure, whatever it is, and that is the goal that's going to settle this game from Genoa. Oh, referee wanted one last chance in this game. Um, fun game, that one. It really, really was. Deserved victory as well, and good to see Gelson get the match ball. Has to be said, though, defences were not good on either side in that match. Okay, nice team. My opponent has the brand new Tenali, which uh, we're going to run out. We're going to test that Tenali out. I don't know how we've come over with the ball there. That is a horrible, horrible goal we've just scored in the open moments of this game. Yes, show that pace. Straight past Spinozola. Can we get past Cordova too? We can. It's going to be a left footed cross, and that was just a stupid decision from me. Got to test out his pace though, which was nice. 
Oh, it's done well. It's done well. Oh, it's still going. Oh, just knocked off the ball and it, the pass did not go where we wanted. Oh, got some real power behind that. And a race quit. Okay. Eventually we get into another game and that's a nice team. Very, very nice side. Lots of SBC and objective cards in there as well. There's the chance. Ball's delivered into the box. It's a good ball and Croy scores the header. We love an early goal round here. Nice. Oh, what a ball that was. I mean, maybe if we had someone like Genoa or Ronaldo at the back stick instead of Mane, we had a chance. Love that. Good save. And another 1-0 rage quit. That's it. All right then, a few games out the way with this card. Ends with a record of four games, three goals, and four assists, which is a very good return, especially considering the quits that we got. So pretty pleased with that return, if I'm being honest. I'm going to say straight away, this is a card that's not quite to my play style. Like, I thought his dribbling felt really, really nice, and in the right person's hands, I do think this card is going to feel amazing. Unfortunately, I am not that person. Um, so for me, although I thought it was a good winger, I didn't think it was an excellent must-have. However, if Monaco and Martins play well in these upcoming games and they get the boost, I do think this card could get really, really good. But right now for me, just a bit of inconsistency with this item. But as I say, it's not an item that particularly fits my playstyle too well. I don't really go too heavy on the 5-star skill moves and I'm not a big dribbler. So... Yeah, like for those of you who are good at dribbling and are good at the skill moves, obviously you'll get a lot more out of this item. Anyway, what is there to like? Obviously the pace, that felt great with, uh, with and without the ball. Um, when it came to shooting, does he have the best accuracy? No, but does he have pretty insane shot power? Yeah, he definitely feels like he does, so that is great. When in space, the guy can score, but when under pressure, you can definitely feel that his composure isn't as high as some other premium options within the game. When it comes to this guy's passing, I thought the crossing was pretty solid for the most part. He's definitely capable of whipping in a ball like straight on the money. So uh, if you're going to make a team involving this guy to cross, definitely have someone better to uh, cross to than Samuel Eto because... Yeah, this guy created some really good chances, but unfortunately, we were unable to take them. Um, short and long passing is pretty much as you would expect. So, probably not one that you want to be playing as a cam, especially if you're passing. But if you run with your cam, then maybe it is an option for you. Dribbling, like I've already touched on, is very, very nice. Now, the surprising thing for me was this guy's physicals. Obviously, the stamina held up really nicely, which is great. But it's the strength and aggression I want to discuss. Because in some situations, he showed really, really good fight for the ball. And that was obviously... Obviously, very, very pleasing. Did he do it every single time? No. And obviously, against the top tier defenders, he's going to struggle. But he showed good fighting games. So I was, you know, obviously pretty pleased with that. All in all, what do I make of the card? I think it's a good wing item, but I don't think it's a must have. Do I think it's worth its current cost? I don't, as the card is. But obviously these kind of cards are a bit, you know, higher on the market because of their potential. And the potential definitely is there for this card to get much better. And I think it will get a bit better. But it's, it depends on the boost that EA give it. We need to see these in-game stat boosts to uh, truly examine um, value for money. But as it is, as this card is, I don't think it's worth the 500k price tag. Obviously, the main issue with this item is the freestyle weak foot. That left foot will, unfortunately, let you down. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the 89-rated Gelson Martins. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please do leave a like rating on it. Any questions, pop them down below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next